Hello, my name is Evan Sparks. I'm an undergraduate researcher here at the Dartmouth College PKI Trust Lab, and today I'm going to demonstrate for you an attack on trusted platform modules, or TPMs. Uh, I was developing this attack a few months back, uh, and then I found that Bernard Cower of the Technical University of Dresden had already performed it. Uh, however, this is undocumented on the web, so I thought I'd, I'd share that for you here today. Um, Trusted Platform Modules, or TPMs, are uh, small embedded cryptographic coprocessors that uh, are shipping with new PC motherboards. And they do a lot of neat things like, ena and, like enable trusted computing, um, or at least that's what they're supposed to do. Um, before discovering this attack, I'd been thinking about uh, some more complicated attacks involving like an interposer board that sits between the TPM and the motherboard. Um, but uh, once I realized uh, that this attack was possible, I, re I noticed that none of this complexity was really necessary. Um, so TPMs typically reside on what's called the low pin count, or LPC bus. Uh, this is a standard bus on um, most motherboards today. Uh, it supports devices like your legacy PS2 and keyboard and mouse, uh, and also the BIOS. Um, a key thing about the LPC bus is that it has a ground-driven reset line, meaning that if this line is driven to ground, uh, every device on, on the bus is supposed to be reset. This is uh, important to know. So one of the key foundations to trusted platform modules actually working is their ability to securely store a series of measurements. And they do this by using a special set of reg registers on the chip called platform configuration registers, or PCRs. Um, so if we make the assumption that these registers cannot easily be reset, uh, then, this, then this technology should be fairly secure. However, if we can reset the PCRs without restarting the entire machine, we can get them into a state uh, such that we could eventually uh, lie to a remote party and convince them that our machine is in a trusted configuration even though it's not. So I'm going to show that, that this is indeed possible. Now in order to perform this attack, I'm going to use this 3 inch piece of insulated wire um, and touch one end of the wire to the reset line and one to ground. Um, so I'll show you. Now you can see that the TPM is on uh, this little ribbon cable to remove it from the motherboard a little bit. This is uh, purely functional and not strictly necessary. You could do this by touching these pins on any device on the bus. So you'll hear the fan going. Uh, that's because it too has been reset uh, along with every other device. You could avoid this by physically separating the TPM's reset line from the rest of the board or by, um, or by just turning off the fan. So uh, now we, we see that the PCRs had some original values that were in there before, measurements taken by the BIOS at startup. And now if we uh, remove the drivers and reinsert them using our custo uh, some custom uh, TPM drivers for Linux, which issued a special startup command, we can see that the PCRs now have been zeroed out and have been reset, and now we can extend arbitrary measurements into them.